Hello, my name is Jim Penn. I'm the manager of retirement services here at VectorVest, and I'm happy to be hosting this week's presentation, which is called Blue Chip Dividend Payers. Now, blue chip dividend stocks can be some of the most appealing investment opportunities for income and capital appreciation. If you've ever wondered what blue chip dividend stocks are, why they're attractive, or where you can find them, this presentation will help to answer those questions. Here in Retirement Services, we believe there are three core strategies that you must employ to be able to build and protect your retirement nest egg. The first is capital appreciation. The next is income, whether it's through dividends or selling covered calls. And then finally, the ability to be prepared to preserve your capital in times of market uncertainty. In this presentation, we're going to focus on the income side and especially the dividend incomes. And it begins with a quote from our founder and mentor, Dr. Bart Delito, from his book, Stock Strategies and Common Sense, when he wrote that the best of all worlds is collecting dividend checks while prices of your stocks go up. It comes from finding solid growth stocks that pay dividends, and VectorVest is ideally suited to find these babies. It's a common misconception for investors that the only measure of a good dividend stock is a high dividend yield. But because dividend yield equals the annual dividend per share divided by the share price, a higher yield just simply may be the product of a falling share price. Does that falling share price portend a dividend cut? Well, the best way to avoid that scenario is to understand that the evidence of a strong dividend growth stock is not found simply in the high yield, but rather the quality of the company, which can be found by using the power of the VectorVest program. So here we have a list of stocks sorted simply by the dividend yield. And you can see, yeah, that looks great. 34, almost 34.5% dividend yield. But the problem is when we look at the other factors that go into that, simply a quick glance at the earnings growth rate or the earnings per share, things like the dividend safety numbers, these are all numbers that will usually not add up to what we're looking for when we see these ridiculously high yields. So the first thing we want to do is avoid that common mistake. Whether it's one of our watch lists or one of our unit search scans, our spreadsheet has all of the important dividend information we need listed right on the spreadsheet here. And we'll start with the dividend and the dividend yield. These are just industry standard numbers. This is the annual dividend payout and then the dividend yield I just talked about. So the dividend yield is simply the dividend paid divided by the current price of the stock that will give you the dividend yield. These are numbers you, you can find most anywhere. The next three columns is where the VectorVest proprietary dividend indicators come into play. And it begins with dividend safety, dividend growth, and then we have a vector or the YSG, much like our VST vector for the stock, we have a YSG vector for the dividend analysis portion of our dividend stocks. So we simply take dividend yield, dividend safety, and dividend growth, and we roll them into that one indicator called the YSG, or the yield safety and growth. Let's start with dividend safety. It's an indicator of the assurance that regular cash dividends will be declared and paid at current or higher rates for the foreseeable future. Stocks with high DS values have shown consistently strong financial performance, and that includes a solid free cash flow, and that's key to the safety of these dividend paying stocks. So you can see here, the dividend safety indicator in the VectorVest program is actually on a 0 to 99 scale. And as you'll see in a moment, we're going to focus on that 50 level. Anything greater than 50 is going to be what we consider a safe dividend stock. And I'll talk more about that in just a moment. The power of dividend safety allows us to make sure that the stock has a favorable payout ratio when you compare earnings per share versus the dividend. That's the key behind the safety. So what we don't want to see is a company that pays a dividend that's actually higher than its earnings. So if we look here at this particular stock, the earnings per share is actually negative, and they pay a dividend of $4.72 a year. And that's what we have to be afraid of, of a 34% yield when a company is actually, in this case, losing money. So we want to be able to compare earnings to the dividend yield and make sure that payout ratio is favorable, which it clearly isn't in this case. You can also use earnings yield versus dividend yield. So if we use the yield for earnings, again, much lower than the dividend yield. So our goal for a safe 
dividend factor is going to make sure that the earnings can support that dividend. So earnings should be greater than the dividend paid. And you'll see any stock with a dividend safety of at least 50 or greater is going to meet that threshold for us. So it's going to give us that favorable payout ratio. Next is dividend growth. It's a forecasted annual growth rate of the company's dividend based on historical dividend payments and the predictability of future payments. And these are important factors here. It's a subtle yet important indicator of a company's financial performance. So when a company is able to go out and continue to pay and certainly to raise their dividends, it provides some insight into the board's outlook on the company's ability to continue to increase those earnings. So we love to see at least the double digit dividend growth rates. It says a lot about what the company sees for its own future. And then finally, as I said, we take dividend yield, safety, and growth, and we roll it into that one vector called the YSG. We say that stocks with the highest YSG values have the best combinations of yield, safety, and growth, and these are the stocks to buy for regular income and long-term growth. So when we break it down, the characteristics of a quality dividend growth payer are these. Number one is earnings growth rate. Earnings have to continue to grow, otherwise how is the company going to continue to pay and grow their dividend? And if they are going to continue and pay it, we have to be sure that, it, that it's growing and then the dividend growth rate becomes important as well. And then finally, as we talked about, the dividend safety. Let's jump into the program and take a look on how we find and analyze these stocks in the VectorVest program. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the main toolbar and I'm going to choose the viewers tab. And in the viewers tab, we have our different viewers and they have a section called the watch list viewer. We're able to open up the folder for dividend payers. And within that folder, we have all different types of dividend payers, but I'm going to go ahead and start with what's called the DRIP 25 plus list. DRIP stands for a dividend reinvestment plan. So all of these stocks have a long history of not only paying, but growing their dividend for 25 years or greater. And as we look at this list, let me go ahead and graph the top 10 just to give you a sense of what these type of stocks look like. I'll start here. This is the top stock on the DRIP 25 plus, or what is also referred to as the dividend aristocrats, the stocks that have grown their dividend every year for the last 25 years. I can take it out to 10 years just to give you a sense of the movement of these stocks, whether it's the price appreciation, the earnings per share, how it continues to grow, and then finally that dividend payout down below. And again, I like to call it the golden staircase where that dividend just continues to grow year over year while earnings per share increases. And of course, so too does the price of the stock. You'll see the stock has a very strong relative safety value of 1.42. And as we scroll through the stocks, we'll see a very similar pattern. Again, I'm on a 10 year graph just to show how these stocks continue to grow their dividends. And you'll see a very similar pattern as I scroll through these top stocks. Sherwin-Williams, Sintas Corp, SEI. We also have in our dividend payers watch list, we have what's called the DRIP 10 to 24. Again, all of these stocks have the ability for you to reinvest your dividends into these shares. You can do it through your broker. You're able to buy fractional shares if you choose to continue to reinvest in the same company, or you can just either withdraw the dividends if you choose to, or reinvest them in different companies. That's up to you. But if we look at our 10 to 24 year, we can also look at a graph here as well and get the same sense of the power of companies that have that earnings growth rate and dividend growth rate. And so we love to see these, these movements on these stocks. So that's just an idea of the type of stock, some of the, the well-known names, the mature, well-respected companies on the list is very helpful when we're building our dividend portfolio. So when we break it down, there are three components of a strong dividend portfolio. We say that's the quality of the underlying stock, and that means the dividend growth and safety that we just talked about, the earnings growth rate, because the company has to continue to earn money to be able to pay that dividend. We talked a little bit about the dividend reinvestment plan, the power of compounding those dividends and reinvesting those dividends, amazing thing over time. And then finally, we want to be sure to be diverse. We don't want to overweight any one industry or sector as we build our dividend portfolio which leads me back into the program. So I'm going to go again into the Unisearch tool and here I'm going to scroll down to our retirement folder and I want to open up the search called blue chip dividend payers. Now down here in the comments section, I'll allow you guys to go ahead and read through that on your own, but it tells you exactly 
the type of companies the blue chip dividend payer search is looking for. And I did a special presentation back in September of 2017 on this particular search and this dividend portfolio. And it's very basic. All we're doing is we're looking again for those well-known mature companies with that strong free cash flow. We can usually find them in the Dow industrials, transports, or utilities, or we take it from the S&P 500. We put a minimum yield on there of 3% or greater. That goes to the fact earlier we talked about we're not just going to chase high yield, but we'll start it at 3% or greater. I only want stocks that come from the drip 10 to 24 or drip 25 plus. I want that strong history of not only paying but growing your dividends year over year. And then finally, to ensure that favorable payout ratio, we're going to make sure that the dividend safety number is greater than or equal to 50. And then just to bring the best candidates to the top, we sort them by the earnings growth rate times the dividend growth rate. And when we go ahead and run that search, the type of stocks that will come up are going to have those important components that we've talked about. So we've got the dividend safety numbers all above 50. Our YSG is solid. We're bringing that best combination of earnings growth rate and dividend growth rate to the top. So let me go ahead into our portfolios tab and let me share with you when we look at a couple of these live portfolios that we model live and trade live in our retirement coaching group sessions on Tuesday, we have this first portfolio. This is a blue chip dividend payers using that search I just showed for these type of stocks. This is a seven year it began back in 2013. It's currently up 154%. Now the important factor here is that that's just the capital appreciation portion. There are another $30,000 worth of dividend payouts that have come in over those seven years. And if I scroll up a bit, we can see the type of stocks and the performance that we have. Very, again, well-known companies, Lockheed Martin, Bristol Myers, you got Texas Instruments on there, a lot of great companies with the dividend yield. Now, some of these dividend yields, remember I said they had to be at least 3%. Well, look, some of them are below 3%. How does that happen? It's not because they cut their dividend. Because if a company in one of these portfolios actually cuts their dividend, we release the stock right away because there's no greater black eye for a company than to either cut or delay or stop paying their dividends altogether. These dividend yields fall a bit simply because the price of the stock has risen. So that yield has that inverse relationship. But still, strong dividends, the growth, and the safety are all where we need it to be. So that's the three-year look. That's a, that's a portfolio that's done just under 20% per year when you add in the dividends, and that doesn't even include reinvesting those dividends. We also have a shorter iteration of that same search. Again, it uses a prudent risk management of having fairly loose stop criteria so that we can allow some for some fluctuations in the market or on the individual stocks. Because again, remember our objective here. That is, yes, we want some capital appreciation, but our objective is income. And that's what these stocks are providing for us. So this one began back in April of 2018. So a little bit shorter, just about a year and a half. And you can see some of the same names are up top there. The performance on these companies has been very strong. And in that year and a half, now this particular portfolio is up over 28%. That does include the dividend payouts. That does include the dividend payouts and just to give you an idea if I pull up the transaction log and I begin to scroll down these are the purchases of our stocks but you'll see each payout has been chronicled here and boy there's a bunch of them so uh, this is when we had the late 2018 some of our stocks were stopped out we replaced those stocks and then our dividend flow began to come in again and that's all of the dividend payments it's just a year and a half dividends worth of payments there. So the portfolio is up over 28% performing very well over that time frame. So finally, I'm going to go ahead and take us into the back tester. And just to show over time, the results we can expect from a very strong dividend growth paying portfolio. So I have back tests for this blue chip dividend payers trading system that has one year, three, five, and seven year, just to give an example of the returns over those time frames. And they're all very strong annualized rate of return. None of this includes the dividends that have been paid out for these particular tests here. But you've got very positive annualized rate of returns. Compounded rate of returns are very strong. 
you have limited drawdown even as the three five and seven year it took us through you know 2015 and 2018 where the s p 500 was actually down those years so this dividend portfolio actually performed uh, very well in those down markets so that is how we build an income portfolio made up of an enticing combination of low risk stocks with above average dividend yield safety and growth now if you'd like to learn more about this core strategy or more about the capital appreciation or capital preservation strategies that make up the three core strategies we talk about stay tuned for just a couple of more minutes with me as i walk through our urs course that begins next week it's called the ultimate retirement solution online course it's designed to take you by the hand and guide you through the method you need to grow and protect your retirement account so that you can retire with peace of mind let me just take a second to walk through the modules. It is a digital course that begins with module one. It's simply taking the time to define your objectives, help set your goals. You can't be successful unless you begin with laying out those objectives. Modules two and three will walk through the actual step-by-step -step process of building a strong capital appreciation portfolio to grow your nest egg. We'll go through in detail building the dividend portfolio we talked about. In module four, We'll extend that income generation plan by adding selling covered calls to your arsenal for generating income. If you're not familiar with options or selling calls, don't worry. You don't need to be an options expert. We're going to tell you the what, when, and how. We're going to show you how to properly set up that trade and the trade management techniques that you need to be successful. Module 5, perhaps the most important module. Be prepared. You have to know what to do when the market begins to turn against you. We will show you how to ensure your individual stocks or your overall portfolio and those strategic times when you need to be proactive to do so. And then finally, we're going to take you through Module 6 and ultimately implement this plan. We're going to have our trading checklist. You'll understand exactly how to implement in the real world these techniques. Now there is a lot that goes with the course and let me just take a minute to walk through all of the resources that go along with this course. So number one. In Digital Chalk are the six modules. We also have, along with each lesson, a live mastery support session. We help you implement what you've learned in each module. You can look at what you're doing and we can help to guide you if you have any questions. These mastery sessions are live, but if you can't make it, don't worry. You can submit questions. We have a dedicated email bin. You can submit questions and you can watch the recording. We, we archive the recordings of all of our live sessions. Next, we have a bonus module. There's actually a seventh module. My colleague, Mr. Ron Wheeler, our options income coach, will take you through a session and teach you how to trade credit spreads for monthly income. It allows you to open another income stream with high probability trades, and he'll walk you through that in a special bonus module. I alluded to earlier our retirement coaching group. We meet every Tuesday. If you sign up for the course, we're going to invite you for the life of the course, the six weeks, to access the URS coaching group. There we go through our retirement portfolios each week. We do our due diligence, our earnings coming up on an individual stock. What's the market doing? Is it time to be proactive and protect our portfolio? If it is, we'll talk about it. We'll give you access to view those portfolios, and we'll even help with trade recommendations for the weekly covered call income trade and walk through the process we use to do that. Here's another thing I'm looking forward to. We're going to live stream this course on April the 10th. So we're going to take all of the information. We're going to do it live on April 10th. I'm going to walk up the road just to our state-of-the-art training center, and we're going to live stream all of the information. You'll also have access to that on a recording if you can't make that live either. And then finally, we're going to give you the Options Analyzer tool, not just for the life of the course, but it's going to be yours for as long as you're a VectorVest subscriber. And what we're going to do with that is focus solely on the two trades I mentioned, the ability to sell covered calls to generate income. We're going to use the options analyzer to set up and model those trades. And we're going to talk about buying put options to protect your overall portfolio as an insurance policy. And we can set those up here as well. So let's take a look at the recap of all of the things that are going along with the URS course. That starts next week. You get the full Ultimate Retirement Solutions training course. We have our six live mastery sessions. We have our bonus module with Mr. Ron Wheeler. It'll teach you all about credit spreads for income. We have 60 days access to our URS coaching group, and we're going to throw in the options analyzer for you as well. 
Simply order before Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time by going to VectorVest.com forward slash URS. And if you go ahead and enter this coupon code, URS100, you will save 100 bucks from the regular early bird pricing of $5.95, and you'll pay only $4.95. Again, go to VectorVest.com slash URS and enter that code. And I'll even take a second to show you how to do that. So if I open up the registration page when I go to VectorVest.com, and I simply come to the discount code, and I type in URS100, and I hit apply, you'll see the cart total went from $5.95 to $4.95. So that early bird price is $5.95, regular price $9.95. Simply type in the code and save 100 bucks. Now we know when we go out into the market, there's no such thing as a risk-free trade. Every time you hit the enter button, there is risk involved. However, by going to this link and signing up for the course, there is no risk because after the course is over, if you show you've done the work, at least looked at the classes, watched the recordings, done the assignments, and you're still not satisfied, we will gladly refund the price of the course. Again, enter coupon code URS100 at VectorVest.com. Save 100 bucks off that 595 early bird special. And just real quick, I want to talk about the schedule. So on February 26th, the first module will be activated. Every Monday, starting March the 2nd at noon Eastern Time, we will hold our live mastery sessions. All of these are recorded and archived in case you can't make it. On the 13th of April, we'll have our bonus session with Ron. And then on the 10th of April, I am going to, again, live stream the entire course for you with some updated looks at our current portfolios. We'll be able to place live trades uh, during the day, and I'm looking forward to that. It's always fun to do the live stream. And remember, you have access to this course for one year from the end of the course. So we don't just finish up uh, in April and part ways. You have access to all of the information, all the archived resource videos, the modules, the mastery sessions, and all of that will be there for you. So one more time, there is the code and the link to go to. So thanks for taking the time to join me for this presentation, and I look forward to seeing you at the URS course. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like refresher information about the software, click on this Getting Started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.